my job as a leader, this is how hard I worked that day. I said, um, awesome, then go be great. <laughs>Hi, I'm Cy Wakeman, and I am so excited that I get the opportunity to present to NASA leadership today. I'm at the Goddard Space Center, and not only do I get to present to the amazing leaders at NASA, but I get to take an incredible behind-the-scenes tour. To say I'm geeked out is an understatement. I got to learn all about the Hubble telescope and how it was repaired, and the incredible new missions that uh, NASA Goddard Space Center have adopted and are carrying out. I was able to spend about an hour with um, Cy and her husband Richard who's here in the audience and she also had the opportunity to learn about us at NASA, a little bit about our mission. She described it as we have a call to greatness. So with that I would just like to welcome Cy. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for that warm introduction. When I was first asked to be a leader in a large academic health organization, a health center, I thought, oh my gosh, that would be like so easy. I work with all these physicians and scientists and teachers and they're just so data driven and they just really don't get in drama. They're not anecdotal at all. They just really, you know, stick with the facts and don't jump to conclusions and don't assume anything. And I mean, we all love the scientific method. I'll just go like work with objective people. We'll do objective things and I realize that there's a bit of a divide because in our work we are very um, adherent to our processes and our methodologies and in our interpersonal relations, you know, not so much. So I would have somebody who just was renowned in their field for the scientific work they had done and they would see somebody walk down the hallway and not say hello and without any investigation just know exactly what that's about. Very exciting, great day spent together, and we talked a lot about how those of us in the science community are very connected and married to the scientific method when it comes to our work of discovery and observation experimentation but when we get into relationship issues at work we quickly get anecdotal we throw out any of the objective mental processes and methodology we use in favor of our own antidote and that's where the ego comes in takes us far away from reality and the truth and gets us into a lot of trouble so i think people learned a lot and they are going to continue ditching the drama at nasa Presented to Cy Wakeman, thank you for redefining leadership with science and research to reduce drama in the workplace with no ego. Mm. From our center director, Chris Scalise. That's so very thank meaningful. You very thank you. Thank you. Awesome.